In Pennsylvania, we all live downstream from our more than 50,000 farm operations. Many of these are livestock farms, a foundational part of the Pennsylvania agriculture economy. Of course, where there is livestock, there is lots of manure. Manure has valuable components and nutrients that are important for reducing the costs of farming, but only if it's used at the right time and when plants need it. It takes careful planning to keep manure out of Pennsylvania's 86,000 miles of streams and rivers, 20% of which are declared impaired by the state's Department of Environmental Protection. The good news is that many farmers are already doing this by implementing a detailed manure management plan that is made possible by an on-farm manure storage facility. A storage facility prevents accidental manure runoff and allows farmers to wait for the precise growing time and weather conditions to apply manure. It can even function as a fuel source to power the farm itself. Michael Brubaker of Mount Joy has been storing manure for his whole career, a practice he inherited from his father. As the years passed, we were able to build manure storages, like the one behind me. And uh, we have, at different locations on the farm, we have places to contain the manure until it is a proper time to uh, spread it on our fields. Vernon Heisey raises 30 dairy cattle in Mannheim, Pennsylvania, and build a small storage tank after a local blizzard. We only had like two feet or something here in Blizzard 20 times. It just blew and blew and blew. It blew and it snowed and it blew for a week after it snowed. And it was just, you go out and make tracks to try to haul the manure and and, uh, and they got blown shut to you and we got out the end of the tracks and got stuck and it was a mess. And I thought, well, there's gotta be a better way. <laughs> there are many challenges of hauling and spreading manure in the winter, including hauling through the snow. Without a manure storage structure, a farmer like Vernon would have to spread his manure every day even when the weather is bad and can cause the manure to flow into our streams. Manure storage structures are designed with very specific engineering standards for maximum environmental protection. Some small and relatively simple like Vernon's. Uh, the manure storage I have here, uh, have a, a 12 by 64 round concrete in-ground storage we installed in 2014. Uh, also have a Reception pit behind us, we installed at the same time that I collect the manure in and then pump it across to the ram pump into the storage. Uh, I hold it several days in the reception pit and then it's pumped across into the storage. Other manure storage systems can be very large and complex, like Michael's six million gallon manure lagoon. With our dairy operation, all of our liquid manure goes through a methane digester first when it leaves leaves the livestock housing, and uh, we digest the manure and collect the methane out of the manure that we convert into electricity. Uh, after that phase, our digestate or digested manure goes through a manure separation process where we separate the solids from the liquids. With the right equipment, farmers can get lots of benefits by recycling almost all the components of manure nutrients, organic matter, solids, energy, and fiber. At the Brewbakers, manure solids from the fibers in the cow's diet and bedding are separated and sterilized to be used again for the cow's bedding. Manure storages allow farmers to apply manure to their crops at the best time for maximum value as fertilizer, which also reduces pollution. When you have a large manure storage structure like the one behind me, it allows, it allows our farm to accumulate enough nutrients so that we can try to time things perfectly as far as field application. A detailed manure management plan guides this timing based on the needs of each specific crop. These plans calculate the proper amount of manure to apply and the right time to do it. Storage and timely application of manure to crops can reduce the risk of manure ending up in the streams and rivers. Protecting waterways is one of Mike Brubaker's favorite aspects of manure storage. Anytime we can do a good environmental thing with our farm, as far as containing the manure until the proper time, it's a good thing for everybody. It keeps, keeps the manure out of the waterways, out of the stream, and eventually out of the Chesapeake Bay. So that, that's a good thing for not only us, but it's a good thing for the neighbors, and we farm around a lot of neighbors, so. 
By helping to keep our local waters clean, manure storage and proper application offer the added benefit of improving fish habitat and reducing the cost of treating drinking water that comes from lakes or rivers. Manure storage and application is one of the best management practices being used in communities to protect water quality for those of us downstream. When you see these facilities, thank a farmer for working to keep your water clean.